I'd love to talk about um, industrial was industrial engineering. Philip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is so interesting. So industrial engineering, you said industrial entrepreneurship. Is that what you said as well? So it's it's industrial and mm-hmm. entrepreneurial engineering is the technical term for the for the major. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Well, let's unpack that. So what what is involved in that really? Sure, Harley, you want to start us off? Yeah. So I guess I did a podcast about four weeks ago, maybe five, about what industrial engineering is. And I guess a good buzz phrase for it might be is the engineering of business, how to make a business profitable and efficient in, and like how to improve the processes within it. And that's only like maybe one side of it. There's like a cost and financial analysis side. There's a simulation side. But I guess the overall theme is how can we look at the business as a whole and try to make the processes within it more effective and honestly at the end of the day make the business more profit and so that's i guess that's a summary but yeah yeah well yeah no that's that a pretty good summary i'll go i was gonna say because last night for the first time and this probably makes me look like a bad business owner but for the first time i sat down so i knew my incomings i knew my outgoings generally speaking but i sat down i mapped out the man hours of the whole business like what is it really taking my staff to do a video? What is That's it really smart. taking to do this? And for so long, like I was living in this delusional land. It was my it was my ego partly and wishful thinking. And it's so interesting how those two come together as far as the, the mind and business. But I was always like pushing aside like, oh, you know, I have this fantasy mind that it takes this long and then it costs this much and then I need this much, these, this many resources. But I broke it down. I'm like way off, like on how many hours I need, yeah. and then how much resources I'm using for my own page, and you know, like the the the, the profit um, percentage versus if I did my stuff, if I didn't do my, went through the whole thing, right? And long story short, it was it was the most irritating feeling. This is like looking at yourself as well. This is like analyzing yourself by like you know the decisions you make. Like why am I where I am? It's like oh shit, and this is huge confrontation. I had this moment last night. I was sitting down writing all these hours out and these like, you know, asking my team, like, how long does it really take to do this? I'm like, they're like, oh, three or four hours. I'm like, so three hours? <laughs> it's like, no, three or four. I'm like, okay. I had to sit That's down and like really the conf- yeah. yeah, yeah, to really confront it. And then this this fantasy I had about, you know, what it actually costs to run this business that I'm doing um, is really, and it was confronting. And it's like, I was just all these hours. I'm like, okay, then I need a budget for, someone to come on who's extra hours so we can edit in advance. And long story short, it was this whole process to go through. And I just kept feeling the urge to be like, no, don't add that on there. That's fine. We'll sort that out later on. I'm like, oh, I just sat there and put it on my, that hurts, that hurts. But now this feeling I have, it's like that hurts, but it's like now I actually know where I am. It's clarity, right? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the numbers don't lie, which which is good and bad as you've encountered. And it's one of those things like, I'll notice myself sometimes I'll kind of put off the accounting or I'll put off like, okay, well, how much did that really cost me? And that's even coming from someone that like is familiar with spreadsheets, the numbers, the, you know, the, the income statements, that kind of stuff. And it's tempting to do that. But if you don't know your numbers, you're, you're not going to do well, period. Mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. you can, and this thing is, it's like, it's one of those like dragons under the bed. They're like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to really look at it because you know, you want to be yep. creating content or you want to be doing what you love. You want to be, you know, really running your business, but it's one of those aspects that you really shouldn't overlook. And I think it's one of the reasons that a lot of businesses end up failing is that it's something that's not paid attention to enough where more time and resources should be allocated to make sure you're um, really paying attention to those numbers. That's interesting that you, that you kind of sat down and you're like, man, I got to look at this, but it's important, right? 